Oh, I'll get this. Or am I being old-fashioned? Oh, no, no, um, I like old-fashioned. You can be as old-fashioned as you want. You know, you go out with guys my age and the bill comes and they're like, you know, we're totally splitting this and I never had the doables. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to Glastonbury? What? Uh, no, I can't. I'm... Ah, oh, it's a real bummer, but I'll probably have the kids that weekend. I tell you, getting divorced really fucks with your festival going. Oh, my God, take your kids to Glastonbury. Loads of older people do it. Do we? They? Oh, I probably won't. Little one only likes high school musical and uh, the Stranglers. Ah, oh, sweet. Sweet, yeah, yeah, he is, yeah. Also mildly disturbed, um, thanks to me, my record collection, and uh, my hellish arguments with his mum. I really thought you guys would get on. So did I. I really thought she was young enough to be impressed by you. But isn't that the problem, though? I mean, when you said you'd bribe the airhead to go out with Alex, I did think that's just wrong. That is just wrong, how are you? I mean, Alex and a 22-year-old. It just feels a bit... a bit, um... Howard Marshall? That 90-year-old stiff that was married to Anna Nicole Smith? That's a bit harsh. Thank you. Michael Douglas. That's more like it. It's hard, though, you know, because... A woman of Alex's own age, a proper person anyway, just not going to go for him. Oh. Of course not. Yeah, guess what, everyone? Mr Zeta-Jones here can actually hear you. The former sex addict is actually present. I mean, not me, I'm not a sex addict. Well, you know, to be clear. I mean, in fact, you know, to be honest, the last year with my ex, pretty much the opposite. Then I was quite depressed, and I think that did affect my libido. So what are you doing for Valentine's? Oh. 